We venture an hour south of the marina to Bloomsbury to track down a man I just had to meet. The raw, rugged, and seemingly invincible Rob Ruddle, better known as... Where's the Bushman? Do you bite? <laughs> yep. I'm the most dangerous thing here. When you see these big crocs, I put them in those cages. Oh, good. He's been wrangling crocodiles without shoes since he was nine years old. So how'd you get started working with crocs? Oh, uh, the old man started the zoo back in the 1950s, so... You didn't have a choice. No, nope, didn't have a choice. <laughs> you right, dead right. Didn't have a choice. It was the first crocodile farm in Australia. With the help of indigenous aboriginals, they caught thousands of crocs to breed. They released some back into the wild. Others they've kept and grown to some of the biggest prehistoric creatures on Earth. What have I done? <laughs> In time out. I feel like Sadie. Actually, no, Sadie never gets treated like this. <laughs> you just gotta remember, if you got your fingers on these bars and he you. hits your fingers with his head, he'll probably cut them off. Okay. Tripod is 15 feet, and with only three legs, he's the fastest croc on the farm. So the Bushman and his family put me in a cage to get as close as I can. Oh, gosh, I felt that one. <laughs> oh, gosh. You can hear him hissing. Yeah. <laughs> oh. It's incredible being this close to one. I can feel his breath and hear him hissing and definitely see him really close. Hi. Hi. You're not as mean as they say, are you? Okay, we'll leave you there now. <laughs> okay, everybody out. Ooh, that was a close call. Tripod's buddy is even bigger, and with the Bushman, I brave him cage free. Should I be taking my shoes off so I can no, be the barefoot no, right. bush woman? This one's this one's Brian. He was caught from the wild, so be careful. Hi, Brian. Let's get him to move for you. Cha. Jeez. <laughs> hey, Brian. So, how old is he? We don't know, he was caught out of the wild. Despite the antics, this croc is impossible to tame. A lot like his handler. I want to walk past him, I just close his eyeballs so he cannot see me and I can walk around him. Oh, wow. I'll just show you what happens if he grabs him a hand, watch. Hmm. Got it back, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Watch out, Kevin, be careful. And if he gets the hand, watch. Watch out. Got it back again. So if you know what you're doing with animals and leave them be crocodiles, you can do things like this. Open big. You'll play today, are you? Play. And I can walk past him. As long as I step on his toe, I'm quite safe. What about me over here? <laughs> well, I can hold his legs off the ground. He can't go nowhere then, can he? <laughs> you hear about people who do similar things to what you do, but they still have been bitten. What well, I've had teeth of me 40 times. But I don't call them bites. If you get the bit back, it's not a bite, is it? A big boy. So I'm from Florida, and I'm very used to being around alligators, not that close. But um, what would you say is the difference between alligators and crocodiles and kind of the myths between them? There's not much difference. The difference between them are the way their teeth fit together. That's about all. They are and another. Their snout. They're just another kind of a crocodile. They've got a wider nose and the teeth fit together differently. And they're more placid compared to a crocodile. Bye, Brian. Thank you. I'll just lift his head up for you. Wow. You want something crazy? Look at that. That's Splash. Incredible. How do you know he's not going to bite you? Because I know. 66 years of experience. Like I said, do you think I'd put my hand in the water for one minute if I thought he was going to actually take my hand off? No. And that's a wild crocodile. 
That's incredible. That's because we've left them be crocodiles. Most other places have what I call guard dog crocodiles. They condition them to do things that are not, not natural. This is natural. Anything splashing means it's in trouble. He'll react to it straight away. This close encounter was one of the Bushmen's last. Two weeks after we were here, a crocodile latched onto his arm and leg and tried dragging him underwater. Brettel retired right after, now with limited movement in his hand. And you need is it's a dead piece of meat, he doesn't have to kill it, so he's not going to bite it. Brian's neighbor is the biggest beast at Brettel's wild farm. Yes. He hasn't had lunch, and he's not happy about it. Whoa! Oh, look at that. He <laughs> come around, didn't he? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Come back this way. Come on. Back over this way. Come on. Ah, back over this way. Do oh, come you on, ever get come nervous? On. Come on. Here, come on, come on, come on. Come on, yes, come on. Come on. OK, that's good. He's looking at me. Oh, never turn your back on a crocodile. Because as soon as they know you're not watching, they'll attack. Yeah, come on. Uh, Hold that in your hand. Thanks. Okay, Sorry, come over Peggy. with me. What's this one's name? This is Gallopin. Hi, Gallopin. Exactly five metres long, probably about a ton in weight. And he's 30? 31, going on 31. So he's destined to be the biggest crocodile in captivity? Could be, yes. He could be. In about another five or six years, it's possible he'll be the biggest one in captivity. Wow. Do you ever get nervous doing that? No, never. Never. So to set the record straight, too, if you see a croc in the wild, what would be your advice to somebody? Well, if you see him, you're safe. It's the one you don't see you worry about. <laughs> OK. Come on. Gretel, is that his name? Gallopin. Gallopin. <laughs> Sorry, Gallopin. Just, just touch it on the end of his nose. OK, are you sure? Yeah, just touch it on the end of his nose. No, no, that's it. Yeah, now lift Whoa. it up. No, no, no. Lift it up. Just, just let him come up to it and he'll take it. Come on, let him come up. Come on. Do you want me to drop it in his No, mouth? no. Come on, let him come. Woo! Jeez. OK, what was I thinking? That was way too close. Look at that. My mom's going to kill me. Woo! Jeez. <laughs> gosh. Good boy. Another oh, my guy? gosh. Are you serious? I'll give it to you. Gonna do it again? I'll maybe grab that. it out again. Let's do it one more time. Uh, maybe not. Good. Good boy. Ah. Come on. And when he slips into that water, it's like he never was there. Hey, look at that tail. You wouldn't even know something one ton just went in wow. there, would you? And that's what makes him so dangerous. Absolutely incredible. As I say, they're awesome enough without bullshit. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I'm speechless. <laughs> <laughs> He's not still hungry, is he? Yep.